that I told him, that I tell to everyone that I teach. Karate is an art. It's a martial art, but it's, it's an art. In every art, every art form is an individual expression. Everyone's interpretation, how we see the world. Some people who are aggressive by nature might handle it one way. Someone who's more Don't passive eat. by nature might handle it differently. Um, and that does not mean that one is any better than the other. I am not an aggressive person at all. And if nobody ever bothered me, I would not bother a soul. Trust me. But if someone comes at me in an aggressive way, I will meet that aggression. And, uh, growing up in a ghetto, so, so that some of you understand my makeup, I was the youngest of 11 children. When I was two years old, my father deserted my mother who had a fourth grade education. Back in those days, this was in 1948 or, or 42, 1942, um, the authorities would just take children away from a parent who could not afford them, unlike today giving parents welfare the more children they had. They took us away. We were placed in an orphanage, and I spent seven years in an orphanage. It was a Catholic orphanage, and the nuns taught me, don't you fight, fighting is wrong. Of course, they could beat the crap out of you with rubber hoses and, and yardsticks, but we couldn't fight. So when my mother went to work at the International Paper Mill, sat on a conveyor belt and sifted paper for many years, and after seven years of that, she was well enough to establish that she could get us, the seven youngest children went to the orphanage, so she was able to get us out of the orphanage. Now, in the orphanage, I was taught fighting was wrong. You don't fight. The only place we could afford to live was in a housing project uh, called Hyde Park Village. I lived at 4527 Cary Court. Still remember, it burned in. And it was, there were probably 500 African American families, maybe 30 or so white trash families of which we were one. And I remember when I first got to the, uh, to the project, I went out there a bunch of these uh, black kids playing. Hey guys, can I play? <laughs> they beat the snot out of me. And I had no idea why. I couldn't fight. I was taught that fighting was wrong. I had no idea why these guys were beating me up. Anyway, this went on for a few months till finally I got tired because my mother wasn't home. She was gone all day because she had to work. So finally, one day, I went behind a building and I knew where, where these guys had to go to go home. They beat me up. And I got a great big stick. And one of them came around the corner and yeah. as hard as I could, and I ran home. <laughs> they knew where I lived. The next time I came out, they beat the snot out of me again. <laughs> and next time I got a brick and I hit one of them with a brick. And they knocked the snot out of me again. And then I got another baseball bat or something. And probably after about a dozen of these, and they beat the snot out of me, they finally they came to the realization. This guy is not going to stop. And it hurts. It hurts to keep beating him up. <laughs> so we became friends, and I had no more fight. But at that point, I learned what I know now and what I believe now. Number one, I'm not going to be afraid of anybody. If you threaten me with a punch in the mouth, I'm still waiting for the threat. <laughs> I've been punched in the mouth. I've been punched in the nose. I had just about every bone in my hands and my ribs broken. I don't care. I really don't care. So it's that attitude that I developed. So when I got into the martial arts, I am, I've taken who I am because it is an art form and this is who I am. And I don't want to bother or hurt anyone. And I, when I see anyone suffering, it bothers me. Okay? And my, uh, my, my children are like that as well. My youngest son did two tours in Iraq in the U.S. Army. He had to kill people, and people tried to kill him. And there was an incident that I told Master Ichikawa where uh, someone tried to kill him with a knife, stabbed him, and he had to, got into hand-to-hand -hand combat. And my son is much like myself. He would never hurt anybody. He 
He hates it, but he knows what he has to do. And like me, he doesn't fear anyone. You can't face anybody with any fear. You take your best shot. I will never die on my knees. I will never die with my hands in the air. I will never die with my hands behind my back. If you're going to kill me, you're going to look me straight in the eye, and you're going to come straight at me. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to back up. I'm going to say, okay, give it your best shot. Because I've got more determination not to die than maybe you have to kill me. That's a good Facebook quote. It'll be on. Don't quote me. Uh, unknown. I <laughs> know. Did you have a question? All right. But anyway, it really is all attitude. And uh, pick a good one. Isn't that the, the line, Master B? Uh, attitude is everything. Pick a good one. Pick a good one. And we all have our choices about how we're going to, to be. Who we're going to be. Just be who you are. Uh, you know, I believe and I may have mentioned this before, I believe that every person who comes into this world comes in with a gift. We're born with a gift. And I believe that that gift is somehow meant to benefit mankind. Probably five or fewer percent of the people that I know have ever had a chance to find that gift to be who they are. Because mom and dad say, my son is going to be a doctor. If my son is going to be a lawyer, maybe your son was meant to be a, a teacher, a coach. Maybe your son was meant to be something else and never got in touch with who they are. I have five sons. Four of them are mine. One others, another boy, a Mexican boy we've adopted. He's been with us for the past 20 years. But... Whenever people say, well, are your son, any of your sons uh, black belts? And I say, no. None of my sons are study martial arts. I've taught them how to defend themselves, but none of them have pursued martial arts. Oh, my God. You know? No, no. It's their lives. They don't have to live my life. I want them to be themselves and be who they are. So I've let them find out who they want to be and let them be that person. And that's what we all need to do. Uh, we won't always find exactly who we are and what we were meant to do, what our gift is. It's not going to hit us in the face. We have to find it. But we have to be unencumbered by, you know, you're going to do this or you're going to do that. Well, that's not the way it works. Yes, sir. We sure did. That's it. See, no. you were meant to be here. And when you walk into that karate studio, you were meant to be there. Yeah. Okay, anyway, Thanks. I've kept you long enough. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Yes.